Hi guys, it's Dia and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing our last few days in India. It's finally time to go back home. I'm emptying my wardrobes as you can see here and prepping to pack my bags. It's time I decide what I want to keep and what I want to donate. I'll clean my wardrobe one last time and put back the stuff that I want to donate so that it can be of use to someone else. I like to only keep minimum stuff with me, whether it's my clothes, kids' clothes, toys, etc. So that I do not end up cluttering my home with too much stuff and minimalism is the way to go, I believe. Dhyani, as you can see, is hanging out with me whole time I am packing and cleaning the wardrobes. She loves to spend time with me when I'm cleaning or filming and she hates, like literally hates it when I'm cooking and um, just doing stuff in the kitchen. She gives me a very hard time and won't let me cook. Let me know in the comments below if your toddler has same tantrums, similar tantrums while you're cooking in the kitchen as well. Would love to read some comments and your stories. Anyway, coming back to packing, all the stuff that I want to pack will go into our guest room where I will be packing my bags. I have so much of stuff in just 8 months, like it's insane. Another thing, I am so excited to share the moment when I finally tie Raki to my brother after 10 long years. Yes, it's been a decade almost since I have tied Raki to my brother. It's not Raksha Bandhan yet, however, it's only 2 weeks away so I decided to celebrate Raksha Bandhan while we all are here. It's also going to be Kushan's first Raksha Bandhan with Dhyani and his two cousin sisters, Kisha and Pal. And all three sisters are literally super duper excited and they're going to dress well, so well uh, for the event. I was behind the camera and I was literally in drag, so you won't find me anywhere in the video while Kushang and his sisters, they are celebrating Raksha Bandhan. Anyways, by the time I'll be editing and uploading this video, I would have reached Sydney and I'm so sorry to inform you guys that I have not vlogged my journey back. I'll be very honest, it was very difficult and exhausting to travel with a baby and a toddler to keep them well rested, well fed, comfortable, took the troll on my mom-in-law and myself and by end of the trip we all including the kids we were so exhausted that the first few days in Sydney we all <laughs> slept slept and slept that's all we did anyways I'll continue with the video and I hope you enjoyed the vlog and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one bye bye